Me was me. What I meant was me was sad. Me was cry cry. Me in bed. Me sleep. Me sleep a lot. Drew Monson has been one of the most highly requested videos that I've had, and now I'm finally making it. And just so you know, I'm pretty scared of making it because you're about to see some more of Tough Love, Chris. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to help you with your mental and emotional well-being. And real quick, in case you missed it in the last video, we have a Rewired Soul Discord server. Come join it, all right? I know a lot of us, you know, everybody, everybody, not even you just watching it, like the people you know, like we all struggle with our own issues and the best thing we can have is a support community. So join the Discord server. But I forgot to mention too, one of our awesome subscribers, Ephraim, he, I think I said that, I think I said that right. He started a subreddit too. So if, sub, if Reddit's your thing, go do that. Discord, go do that. We have a Facebook group, go do that. Like all we are trying to do is just help one another get through this challenging thing that we call life, all right? So all the links will be down in the description as well as in the comment section. All right, so let's talk about Drew Monson. Yeah. People have been asking me for months, like as my channel has grown, everybody's like, but well, what about Drew Monson? What about Drew Monson? Where's Drew Monson, right? And one night I was like, I, like, I didn't know much about Drew Monson. I barely got into Shane not that long ago. So I started going down this like Drew Monson rabbit hole. I'm like, oh man. So like it made sense why people were asking me. So he's back and I was like, okay, now it's time to make a video. So before I get started, here's a disclaimer, okay? I don't know Drew Monson. I am not Drew Monson's therapist. I am not trying to diagnose Drew Monson. I am, like, the reason I make these videos about YouTubers is because I know a lot of you can relate to YouTubers, right? A lot of you can relate to someone like Drew Monson. So if you can relate to Drew Monson, I do videos to give you suggestions, okay? Not Drew Monson, but you. So this is if, Someone like Drew Monson walked into my office at my mental health treatment center and sat down and said exactly what Drew Monson just said. This is how I would talk to that person. So if you can relate to Drew Monson, this is how I would talk to you. But God, even though I just put that disclaimer, there's gonna be so many people in the comments who just tell me I don't even know Drew Monson. Ugh. But them's the breaks, and that's what I signed up for when I became a YouTuber. All right, so those of you who don't know who Drew Monson is, Drew Monson is a YouTuber. He's friends with Shane Dawson, he's friends with, with Garrett. They like have this like cool little trio, and they make great videos. Drew Monson is hilarious. Every time I watch my, even this video, it was hilarious. Soldier boy up in this O, watch me crank it, watch me roll, watch me crank this super boy and fly in the zone. It's like he, he has a great sense of humor, he's kind of goofy and wacky and stuff, but in the past, he's made videos about being depressed and not being able to get out of bed and everything. And he's been gone for months and months and months now. So right before he disappeared again, he came back, right? He did this like extravagant like music video comeback. Then he said he was going out on tour and then he just disappeared, all right? So now he's back. He said that he was inspired to make this video because there was uh, another video that got like 100,000 views. It said like, goodbye, Drew Monson or something like that. And he wanted to make a video just kind of talking about where he's been. Kind of. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down kind of what he talked about and basing this off my own experience as well as just other stuff and giving you some suggestions. A lot of people were saying he's on a mental health break, which is kind of funny to me because I never said that, which is so funny that that's like the automatic thing, which I totally get, like it's my fault. Like I'm the one who's always leaving and coming back being like, me was doing a lot of boo-boos. That sounded not right of what I meant. I meant- So yeah, right here, like I, I can definitely relate. So what I, what I sense, like what I feel it, feel, it feels like Drew doesn't want people to worry about him. And Drew says this for like the first five minutes of the video. He talks about how people are like worried about him and like how it's weird that people are like worried or they assume that he's in bed and all this. And let me tell you this, this is something that I can relate to and I'll share my personal experience in a second. But like, you gotta understand why people are worried about you. Like so many of us are like, oh, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Why is everybody worried about me? Like, bro. Bro, Drew Bronson, Drew, Drew Monson has made like videos talking about how depressed he is, then the dude disappears. Like, people have a valid reason 
to be worried. It's not like the dude was like walking around all chipper and happy and like everything, like living his best life and people were just randomly worried. Like we give people reasons to worry about us. So from my personal experience, those of you who don't know me, I am a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. Six and a half years ago, I had a 10% chance of living, okay? That my mom got a phone call that no mother should get from the, uh, the hospital saying, you might wanna come down to Las Vegas because we don't think your son is going to live through the night. All right, keep that in mind. Okay, so my mom, when I first got sober, she was up my butt constantly. Did you do this? Did you do that? How are you feeling? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm like a 27 year old man, right? And I just got clean. I had a few months sober and I'm just so mad at her. Like quit worrying about me so much. I'm, a, I'm fine. I'm a grown man. But through talking with people about it, they're like, Chris, do you think your mom has any reason to worry about you? Right? And, and yeah. Just right before then, she got a call that I was killing myself. You know what I mean? Like my mom had a reason to be worried about me. But aside from that, I also have to empathize because I'm actually supposed to have an older brother. I, uh, my mom gave birth to another son the year before I was born and he died a few days after birth. So I have to put myself in my mom's shoes and be like, oh my God, no wonder why she's so worried about me. But this is something that I talk to my clients about. When they're in treatment, when they're in uh, the rehab I work at and they're about to go home, I explain to them, I'm like, your family is going to be worried about you and this is why, okay? Cut them some slack. So when I see Drew Monson just like, why is everybody so worried? about me he has given people plenty of reasons to be worried about him. I didn't really feel comfortable which is something that happens to me sometimes I just my brain will open up in the wrong way to where I think too much about what you guys are going to think or what somebody is going to say about my video and how many people oh my god someone in Nebraska might not like it oh my god there's someone in in Asia that's gonna hate it I mean that's a big continent there might be uh a lot more people that hate it there. That's something that a lot of us can relate to, right? That's that kind of social anxiety, worried about what people are thinking, even people that are just completely out there. So I just did a video about Dr. Mike and Gabby Hanna, where he was talking about those social anxieties, right? And what we need to realize is, so anxiety is there to keep us safe, to protect us from like life threatening dangers, all right? But those of us with different uh, types of anxiety disorders or like severe social anxieties, are our brain is trying to make us feel as though something is life-threatening when it's not. This is why I keep trying to teach you guys to quit caring so much about what other people think, all right? Like, you guys, somebody in one of my comments, I can't find it, they said I look like a, a, an, a gorilla or an ape. A gorilla or an ape with Down syndrome, right? Like, this is some random person who I've never met in my life. And guess what? I do not care. I was actually laughing and I, I was telling Tristan how hilarious it was. You know what I mean? Like we really need to start working on this stuff and realizing like, why would I value this, uh, this person's opinion so much? You know what? I'll give you a writing exercise real quick. Let's do this. Take out a piece of note paper, uh, a notepad, a piece of paper, whatever it is. Write down whose opinions mean something to you and why, all right? Then just take another look at that list and see if there's anybody you can take off that list. What do I mean by that? Like your great aunt Margaret or something like, does her opinion really matter to you? Like when it comes to me, like there's only a few people whose opinions like really matter to me. And it's like Tristan's, my very close friends, my parents, but even to a certain extent, at some like sometimes I just gotta do things even if they're not gonna they're not gonna agree with every decision I make. You know what I mean? But the other side of it is when I go away and when I step away, it's like there's no taking back my anon uh, anonym anonym anonymity anomaly anomalisa a mama hama I think that's right. Drew, that word you're looking for is anonymity. The only reason I can say that word, because that's a very hard word, is because I'm a drug addict and alcoholic in recovery, and I've been to a, let's just say I've been to a lot of meetings where you have to say the word anonymity. Now I can just say it like a pro. Anonymity, 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 boom. There, what I mean is like there's no going back. Like I became a public person, and if I leave, 
my life gets taken over by something else. Like, if I don't tell you guys what I'm doing, it's kind of like somebody else tells you. And granted, they took clips from things and they kind of formed it into a narrative. There was a few like that. And there's just no truth to that idea and that fantasy of being anonymous. Obviously, I cannot make videos, but it's just strange that my own my own narrative sort of runs away from me and I need to grab it. I need to take him, I need to eat him. So this, this is one of the biggest issues I see with people in general, all right? What he's talking about is something that I think Bobby Burns struggled with too. Everybody, everybody wants their cake and to eat it too, to use that saying, right? Or the cupcake pancakes. If you watch the Drew Monson video, you get that joke. Everybody wants that, right? And what's that mean? People want to be famous. They want everybody to know them. You know, whether you're an entertainer or a filmmaker, this is what people want. How many people are watching YouTube saying, man, I wish I had that life. I wish I had fans. I wish I had subscribers. I wish I had and everybody knew me, right? But you see these YouTubers who are doing it. And this is why I'm always trying to teach you guys, get your value system in check, right? Because so many people get to that place where everybody knows them, but then they don't want any of the other stuff, right? When you are working your butt off to get in the spotlight, these are the things that come with it. And, and it just, it sucks. It sucks because it's like, nobody had a conversation with these people. Like in what universe, in what universe did somebody think that being famous meant that nobody was going to talk about you? How can you, you, does that make sense? Like if you want something like, for example, I know a lot of you out there, you're not trying to become famous or YouTube famous or whatever it is, but like, you want promotions at work, you wanna be the boss, you wanna be the head honcho, you wanna make all this money, well guess what? Getting up to the top of the corporate ladder or whatever, it comes with a whole new, a whole new set of stresses, all right? And it's just like, we need to sit back and just really look at what our values are. Do I really want that thing? Do I really want to do that? Am I emotionally ready to do that? Like when we talk about somebody like Bobby Burns or even what Drew Monson's going through, like what Drew Monson is saying is that he isn't emotionally ready for everything that came along with the thing that he was trying to get. So I want you to think about that. If you're aspiring to be a famous actor or actress or YouTube famous or an Instagram star, like know all of the negatives that come with it too. My buddy, Cody Warner, just made a video. I will actually link it down in the description or maybe up in the info card. Find it, it'll be linked somewhere. But he made a video called The Dark, like The Dark Truth or The Dark Side of Being a Full-Time YouTuber. And he talked about all the negatives. And like, it's crazy because he got some negative feedback about it. But here's the thing, like you guys, Life is never going to be all like unicorns and rainbows. Like I teach my clients this, when they come in and they get sober at my treatment center, I, I prepare them for, for the real world. I would be doing all of you a disservice if I'm like, hey, guess what? Become a YouTube star and all of your problems are gonna be solved and you're never gonna be sad again. That would be a disservice to you, okay? So like what I would recommend, and I talked about this in my Markiplier video too, like, Whatever career path you're going for, like talk to people who are there. Are they happy? Why or why not? You know what I mean? In the mental health field, I see a lot of people who aren't happy, but I've been able to look at it and I understand why they're not happy. And those are things that I work on so I don't fall to those uh, those same issues, if you know what I mean. But lastly, but, uh, last but not least, Drew Monson finally admitted, he's like, you know what? I guess it is a mental health break, right? And here's just the thing I'm gonna say. now. Drew spent a lot of his money on uh, other stuff, <laughs> and now he's kind of broke. Maybe that's part of the reason he's coming back to uh, YouTube. But you guys see me say this whenever I talk about a, a big YouTuber. Go to therapy. Go to therapy. What good is a mental health break if you're not going to therapy? Like isolating and eating a ton of food, like that's not therapy. You know what I mean? A break is useless unless you're doing something about it, right? And sometimes that break is spending more time with family, more time with friends, getting your values back in order, whatever it is. But like sitting alone and isolating, which I don't know if Drew did because he didn't really dive too much into it, but I'm letting all of you know, if you're taking a mental health break, use that time to go to the doctor, to go to a therapist, to go on a vacation, to go on a retreat, a meditation retreat. Do something, okay? Now, if you are watching this and you can relate 
relate to Drew and you need help with your mental health and you wanna get real for a second, like I am supported by BetterHelp Online Therapy, who I absolutely back. My girlfriend uses it, I have friends who use it. And if you need affordable online therapy, it'll be down in the description below. If not, I do not care. Go talk to your doctor, go find your own therapist, join us on Discord or subreddit or Facebook. Do something for your mental health, not everything, just do something, all right? <laughs> but anyways, anyways, I wanna hear from all of you down in the comments below. Can you relate, can you relate to Drew Monson? Can you relate to some of the things that he's been through and feels and all of that, whether it's the social anxiety or the depression, or do you not like people worrying about you? Let's talk about it down in the comments below, okay? But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton, a ton of videos. This is my second video today. And a huge thank you to everybody who is a patron. You are all amazing. And there's some brand new exclusive content up over on Patreon for everybody at the $5 tier and up. If you would like to sign up and get some of those extra goodies, click or tap right there. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.